Welcome, welcome folks, welcome one and all, welcome back to Not At All. Always a pleasure to uh, welcome you to Not At All, the island paradise of me, Luke Questaway from Outside Extra. Hello everybody, it's lovely to see you all. Let's check in with the chat. Blue Coyote says Tingle is not that bad really. Hmm, I don't know about that. I do not know about that. Um, hi everyone, hi, lovely to see you all checking in. Emma Rose, hello, hi, 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 hi. Oh gosh, Katie says, I got a cuckoo clock today. I'm glad Luke and the stream introduced me to its wonder. Yeah, let's see if we can catch the cuckoo clock at 3 p.m. Like we did last week, that was so much fun. Um, and Rebecca Stedman says, I finally made a live stream. Rebecca Stedman, you are going to make this live stream. Cool, all right. So now, if you've watched one of these streams before, you're probably looking at this uh, looking at what's on screen now and you're probably thinking hey Luke's house is a little grander than it was his garden's a little bigger and that's right I have basically claimed quite a large chunk of the island to be my garden so now I have the biggest house and the biggest garden bigger than anyone else but like I'm the only one who does any work, so like the day that Mac picks up a shovel and starts digging tree stumps out of the cold earth, maybe he can have a garden. But until then, this you know this is this is a meritocracy, and I've worked hardest, and I'm the best, so I get to have a big garden. So let me walk you around it over here. Um, you can see is the sort of uh, things are a little bit. Tolkien, a little bit uh, English country garden over here. That's kind of the vibe in this corner. Um, moving over here, what's this? Through the tiki torches, that's right, it's a little barbecue area. Little customized um, table. Oh yeah, it's little, see Mac there in the corner looking in jealously. Yeah, keep looking, Mac. You just keep walking, my friend. <laughs> it's the, yeah. Perks for uh, being the res uh, resident representative, I say, says Tarnum. Yes, I knew I knew that we would quickly corrupt the sacred office of uh, resident representative, and we've done it real quick. Um, and then we've got this little beachy area, which is really sweet. I think we've got a, a paddling pool. Uh, just got this. Just got this cushion customized up with some uh, Able Sisters patterns. So you know, I can just sit on that. Just sit on that and look at the flamingo. Contemplate it. Uh, so there we go. Um, so that's the exterior of the house. Now, quite a lot of changes have taken place inside. Later Kater says, how is your house so nice? Later Kater, you haven't even seen the interior yet. I'm really proud. This is what I've been working on the most this week. Just trying to make the house real pretty. Um, I focus so much on the house and not much on myself, hence these sort of like casual yoga sweats. But that's fine. But that's fine, you know? Okay, right. Let's head inside and see what's new. So, uh, Matthias Tillman says, Hi Luke, happy Monday, hope you're well. Hi Matthias, thanks for tuning in. So, I had a little bit of a remodel in the living room. As you can see, look at this wallpaper. I, this was such a find. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? It's really nice. Uh, Caitlin RC says, Why is the paddling pool water yellow? For normal reasons, Caitlin. Normal reasons. Normal reasons. Um, so yeah, the main thing I want to point out in this room is this rug. I love this rug. I love this rug so much that there are two of it in the house. Um, you'll see the other one shortly. I've got a TV now. I really like the way that, the, that there's like its own just little like rotating TV schedule. Um, there's a, uh, if you tune in on a Saturday night at 3.33 a.m., there's an alien broadcast. I haven't seen it, but I've been reading about it. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's this room. Uh, the kitchen has been redone. This used to be the bedroom, but now... Now it is a deluxe kitchen suite. Isn't that sweet? Love this. Love the ironwood furniture. This is the... Um, yeah, this is this is the ironwood uh, cupboards, I think, uh, if memory serves. Got a little uh, little pet food, pet food for the turtle. Tortoise, even sorry. Oh no, it's a snapping turtle. Hmm, I thought turtles had fins and tortoises had little claws. Maybe those are fins. Maybe they're just like webbed toes. I can't get close enough in to see. But you know what? That's probably what's that's probably the situation. 
Cool. All right. Um, let's go check out the um, bedroom. Sorry, not bedroom. The music room. The music room. What do we think of this? This has been redone as well. Brick wall, not great for acoustics, but it's the nicest wall that I have so far. Um, this guitar is lush. This was a gift from Andy. Patrick Long says, I'm disturbed that freezers are for clothes. I know, it's a little unusual, isn't it? Got my drum kit here. I do wish that when you played stuff on the drums, it kind of like played like an actual beat. Seems like it's just random. If you play fast enough, it kind of sounds like you're playing something intentional. Ish. Ish. Uh, all right. Let's check out the next room. Let's head on up to the bedroom. If this was Cribs. This would be the point where I was like, and this is where the magic happens. But the most magical thing about this room is the wallpaper. Brace yourselves. <gasps> Look at it. It's the old library. Look at this bed. Would you believe that this bed fell out of the sky in a balloon? I mean, it nearly killed me when it landed there. But isn't it nice? This is like one of the nicest items I've ever seen in the game and, and I just got it completely randomly. I felt so lucky when um, when I got it. Um, Argya Rayan says, oh my god, my dream room. OMG books, says O'Keefe. <laughs> Comfort Teddy in the corner, notes Denise L. Yeah. You gotta. I, th I really like this because the, the suitcase, which we got on the last stream, um, doing the Mayday Maze. I like I like this because it looks like the suitcase belongs to the teddy. And that pleases me. We've got a little tarot set. Um, for when we need to do uh, our readings. We've got some nice... Uh, got some nice antique furniture in here. This this item here. Um, this is possibly my, my favourite animation in the whole game. I just... I, I've been... Just stood in front of this for a very long time, just opening and closing this over and over again because I just can't get over how satisfying it is. It's the way the letter bounces a little. Oh my word. Anyway, this is going to be the rest of the stream, probably. Mmm, the writing desk. Patrick Long says, a room full of painted on books seems appropriate. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, fine, they're only painted on. And also, it slightly aggravates me that the, the pattern repeats so regularly. Like, you can see that little wonky blue book on the on the left, just over and over and over and over again. Welcome new member, Becca Maloney. Hello. Uh, okay, so, that's this room. We've got a little goldfish chilling out here. Um, Ten Ton Hamster says, you're too young for Brideshead Revisited, but that's the bear vibe. Uh, I've seen Brideshead Revisited. Uh, what's the bear called in Brideshead Revisited? I can't remember, but it's got, it's got a great name. What is it? Remind me the chat, if you can. Maybe look it up in a new tab. It's like, oh, it's not like Algernon. You know what? It doesn't matter. Leon Mallow says, hi from Australia. It's a little late over here, but I finally caught you live. You're really awesome, and we love you, so this is a happy moment. Have a wonderful week. Thank you, Leon. That's really kind. Thank you for tuning in. And John is in the chat saying, Aloysius. Yes, of course. Aloysius is the, uh, Aloysius is the name. <laughs> Aloysius is the name of the bear in Brideshead Revisited. And welcome new member, Caitlin Perry. Right. Oh my gosh, we haven't talked about the basement. Okay, the basement is, um, the basement's my favorite room. Um, the theme I've gone for, for the basement, is sewer. Okay? So, let's just take a look. You can see what I have going on. Right? Pretty good. It's my turnip storage. Turnip storage slash... Creepy sewer. Um, <laughs> Jason Kwan says, there's a sewer level in every game. Yep, 
and that's why uh, I had to build this. This really happened because I got this flooring, which is so cool. It's a piece of flooring, but it has like a river running through the middle of it, and it makes it's got this actual water. It's all splashy when you run. It's so cool. Uh, and this is the, I think this is called like the ruins wall or something like that. But I just love the impression it gives that underneath the island, there's this vast network of like caves and tunnels. I really like it. Um, I'll turn the light on so you can see it a little better. Although I normally have it with, uh, normally have the lights out. I was really surprised to find that you can put um, street lamps down here. Um, I didn't think they would fit, but they do. You can put them indoors, which is cool. Very dark soul, says Wimpy Doodle. Thank you. That's that's the vibe I was going for. Absolutely. Uh, Patrick Long says, Elvis the Lion has this glorious gold-trimmed room with light-bathed Roman columns and a giant gold throne. No NPC has the right to be that badass. Elvis the Lion, though. Elvis the Lion surely does. Um, Killer Croc flashbacks, says Jason Sorin. Yeah, that's the... Now, now you're getting it. Ah, um, Sonny Atevener says, put, the, put a turtle in here and a pizza oven. Well, there's actually already a um, pizza oven. I have a pizza oven in here, but I, I have it closed so you can't see the pizza because I like that it just looks like a, like an old Victorian boiler or something like that. If you open it up, you can see there's a pizza and it slightly ruins the illusion. Also this, it looks like a bit of um, just like cool um, like sewer infrastructure. But actually, it's a smoker. If you open it up, you can see it's got like sausages and cheese and stuff in it, which is delicious. But it's not quite the vibe, so I keep it closed so that we can, so that I can sort of headcanon that it's um, you know, just that it's some important sewer technology. Um. Oh yeah, and I've got an exit sign as well, because even in a scary turnip sewer dungeon, safety first. Uh, June Nunes says, hi from Brazil. I'm working from home and the stream is great company. Hello, 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 hello. So, um, so that's basically what's new with the home. Um, I hope, I hope it, um, I hope it impressed. Rivendell Panda says, the outside of the house is so cute, like a little seaside cottage. Yeah, I tried to go for every, like, just try and make, keep everything as beachy as possible. Um, for, you know, for those island vibes. I'll check this out. This is a cool item I got. Um, this ukulele was a gift from Alex Lollies uh, of Dicebreaker fame. It's pretty cool. Been spending a lot of time here, just, just, just basically looking at my character in the hammock and just like staring at it until it starts to feel real, uh, like I can go outside and smell the ocean and feel the wind in my hair. Uh, you know, lockdown vibes. Um, cool. Hey, Mac. Yo, Maximum. Oh, Mac started calling me Maximum. Also, um, to keep you up to date, Mac is in love with Daisy now. Um, their love is real and true. Um, and no one should come between them. Yo, Maximum, feeling strong? Woof woof! Hmm, I know that look. You want to do patrol jogs with me, don't you? Anytime you want. Woo woof! Oh, Mac, I do not want to do that. Okay, so... Let's explain this item. Uh, this is a um, s this is a Taurus bathtub, which is uh, something that I got for. Oh look, here's Daisy, fresh from a date with Mac, no doubt. Sorry for oversharing, but oh my gosh, I think Daisy's about to reveal her love for Mac. Yowie zowie, I'm so itchy. Oh no, Daisy has fleas. Daisy, no! Let me stand between you and Mac so that he can't see you have fleas. Nothing to see here, Mac. Just, just Daisy out for a normal, normal, normal stroll. Come on, let's, let's sort this out quick. Quick, 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 quick. Whew. Welcome new member Dalton Monroe. Of when she's concerned about someone seeing the fleas. I should be thanking you for that. Bow wow! Well, you should be thanking me for it, Daisy. But it's fine. Oh my gosh, so many unclaimed Nook Miles. Well, not unclaimed for long. Do do do. Oh, welcome along, um, new member. Oh, Dalton Mon Dalton Monroe. I can't remember. I can't recall if I already shouted shouted that out. But um, uh, welcome along. Whoa, five thousand Nook Miles. What was that for? Oh, for filling my house with furniture. Okay, well, I mean, I certainly did that. So. Cool. Oh man, even more nook miles to get. Uh, Ten Ton Hamster says, if Mac has fleas, well, that says a lot. 
And then Daisy caught fleas from Mac. Oh, everyone's alarmed at how many Nook Miles I have. Uh, eighty thousand. I just don't. I just don't know what to spend on. I feel like I buy loads of stuff with the, you know. I feel like I, I feel like I cash them in. I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to enough mystery islands, but you know, my island has nice things on it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, cool, 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 cool. Sam Stokes says this is the first time I've ever caught live stream. So happy to actually be here. Uh, cool. So welcome along. Um, right, what do we got? I've got some fossils to hand in, so we've got to do that. Uh, I haven't looked in the shop today, so maybe we should see what that is. Hope says, please explain the grave. It's easily explained. Um, Velma was a resident who lived here, and we had a falling out, and um, Velma left, and Velma is dead to me, hence the grave. Gladys has also moved out. If we go check out Gladys's home... Oh, hey, Blue Bear. Nice to see you, super fan. You're looking perf as ever. Let's talk, Blue Bear. Be totes honest, this is the time of day when I get the sleepiest. <laughs> oh, believe me, you're so cute. Um, so yeah, this is. Wait, hang on. Where was where was Gladys's house? Probably should, probably should remember. It was. Oh, it's that. It's that. It's the vac. Well, it's the vacant lot. So we'll go check that out. But yeah, Gladys has left. Gladys doesn't get a grave because we parted on good terms. I liked Gladys. She was cool, but she, you know, she couldn't handle she couldn't handle the not at all lifestyle, and not everyone can. Um, oh, here we go. Sky gifts. Sky gifts. Okay, folks. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for good sky treasures. No, that's not how you win sky treasures, Luke. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, Gladys has left, but we'll get a new resident. Ooh, 5,000 bells, nice. Um, I'm not doing too bad for money because um, I really I really hit it big on the tur turnip market last week. So um, yeah, I paid off all my mortgages. Oh, I haven't paid off the last one, but it's the one that like, there's not much like incentive to pay off because um, cause you've already expanded your house as much as you can. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, flower garden is looking good. It's sort of like breaking free of its constraints here a little at the edge. And yeah, this was this was where Gladys lived, but no more. Oh, well, now that the house has come down, you get a more commanding view of Diana's house. So that's good. Is Diana in? I think Diana is out. Okay, I, I haven't seen Diana today, so we'll, um, we'll see. Frodo Baggins says, Hey Luke, I was wondering if you'd seen the new music video for Just a Day by Feeder. It was made to support the NHS and includes a few people from the original music video. I hadn't seen that, but I, um, I've got to check it out because I love that song. I love that music video. It's one of the best music videos ever. Um, um, uh, a friend who I um, used to work with, uh, an old job, um, wrote a great article um, about the Just A Day video and like and tracked down and interviewed like a bunch of the people who appeared in the original. If you haven't seen it, um, it was kind of groundbreaking. They got uh, like Feeder, Feeder got a bu whole bunch of people to um, like just record themselves like jamming in their in their bedrooms to to the song and then they edited it all together and it's just it's this oh it's so sweet. Um, yeah, if you want to find that article, I would search for CNET CNET Feeder Just A Day and I'm pretty sure it'll come up. Um, so yeah, someone is moving in, but I don't know who. I don't know who it's going to be. Um, the diners had a few new additions up here. Um, not least the stairs. Um, it's got an arc yeah, it's got an arcade machine now. Um, and a pink fridge and a red microwave. Um, cool. Is there a way you can see who's moving in? Um, because I would be interested to know, or are they just going to sort of show up tomorrow and that's the that's the first I will, uh, and that's the first I'll hear of it. Yup. Oh, click, check the sold sign. You can interact with the sign. Oh my gosh. How many hundreds of hours have I played this game now? And there's still so much stuff I don't know. Okay, all right. Let's go, let's go find out who's moving in. Oh my word. I can't believe we're going to find this out on the stream. <gasps> Diana. Hey, Diana. Big news. Someone's moving in. 
There you are, no doyen looking fabulous as ever, I see. Island life is so invigorating. Staying inside all day would be a terrible waste. Thanks, Diana. Feel a little, uh, seen there. Ivory Musical says, Luke, thanks for having such cheerful streams in this lonely time. I have to ask, if you could add a new fossil to the game, what would it be? Oh, what a great question. If I could add a new fossil. Some of my favourite fossils are already in the game, like the Archaeopteryx. Hmm. And the and the Stegosaurus is, is very... I, th I think it's clearly modelled on um, Sophie, the, the Stegosaurus in the Natural History Museum. Um, hmm. How about like a sort of whole fleet of uh, Compsognathus? That would be cool. Like if you could just find like one little bit, but you've got like a whole little uh, fleet, and that'd be nice. Or a baby, maybe like a baby dinosaur, a baby T-Rex or something. A little egg nest. Uh, all right. Robin. Robin is moving in. I don't know who Robin is. Hang on, I gotta look up. I gotta look up Robin. I gotta know who we're dealing with. Robin. A snooty bird villager. Okay. Oh, appearing in all of the games. That's cool. Her catchphrase, la di da. Okay, all right. Mm. She loves makeup and gossiping because of the snooty personality. I don't think Robin is going to get on well with Diana. Sansbar White says, you know, I think they put that line in from Diana just to troll everyone. Jerk move. Yeah, Nintendo. Come on. Right. Um, cool. So why don't we sort out these fossils? Bum, bum, bum. I've got a load of fruit to um, harvest, but I don't think we'll do that on the stream because it's a little dull, right? Whitney S says, what are your favorite wand outfits? I just completed a Sherlock Holmes cosplay and I'm working on a uh, Jasket... Uh, uh, um, Slash dandelion from The Witcher. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, Andy's in the chat saying I kicked Robin out. Oh man. Okay. Well, we may have a troublemaker moving in. I'll I'll um I'll show you all my um wand outfits. We've got the towel. It's iconic. It's classic. It's never bested. We've got dressing up as Lord Nelson and running around like I'm on the deck of the HMS Victory. We've got my punk look with a little mohawk. And the yellow DMs. We've got my preppy look. Oh yeah, that's cool. Look at those pastel shades. We've got Waterloo DJ. The hat is missing from this at the moment because uh, I lent it to John and I haven't added it back in. But I really like this look. We've got little skeleton. With a cute little flower in the hair. We've got Laika. The dog who went to space. <laughs> Probably the most high concept Animal Crossing uh um, outfit I have. And we have a new one. Sailor Boy. He said, see ya, Layla Boy. Let's, let's stick in the sailor suit for now. Phyllis Smith says, I hate that I'm not getting my notifications. I love fishing. Yeah, we're going to do uh, some fishing tournament stuff. Um, uh, very shortly. Wake up, blathers. Wake up. Why, hello, Luke. How may I be of service? Blathers, I have fossils for you to assess, please. I have five fossils. Now, it has been days, days since I had a fossil turn up that wasn't, um, like, you know, that like a new fossil, like something that's not in the museum yet. So I really, really... Would I only? I, there's not that much. There's not that many things I'm missing. It's like four or five things. Come on, come on, Blathers. <gasps> yes, finally, finally. I think you're gonna get the Blathers voice. I will consider donating what I found. What is it? What is it gonna be? Scott Gooch says just completed my fossils today. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, well, I will be making a donation, Mr. B. I would like to donate this... Diplo neck! Alright! Diplo neck it will be! <coughs> oh, 
Ooh, hoo, hoo. Could it be? It is a diplo neck. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved diplo neck. Uh, dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Please, Blathers. Wonderful, just fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, uh, where to begin? Good old Diplodocus, what would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its centre of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life having no adult size. Would that we were all so gifted. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope you can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Let's go have a look at it. Let's go have a look. Ethan Dupe says, why, hello there, Luke. How's the times treating you all? The times are treating me not too bad. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking. Um, I would say this last weekend, just gone, there were some moments where I was just plain bored. Um, so, yeah, it's been, you know, trying times, but uh, I'm sure like all of you out there, I'm doing my best to sort of stay busy and, and you know, think of think of fun things to do. Oh yeah, look at that. That's great, but we're still missing we're still missing it's we're still missing the middle bit. Hmm. Still missing a middle bit on both of these long necks. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Still pretty cool. Uh, Taylor Madison says, these streams always seem to produce such good luck for everyone. Here's to hoping runs to assess fossils. I'm wishing you luck. Good luck. Good luck. Patrick Long said, hello, sailor. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? Um, Ellen contributed um, massively to this, to this look um, by sending me uh, the hats, I think it was. Uh, which is great. Um, cool. All right. So there we go. Fossils assessed. I think I'm only missing two fossils now, says Caitlin. I see. Oh my gosh, you're getting close. But of course, it gets exponentially harder as you as you go on. Uh, right. Now let's just do a quick lap around the island just to see who's it. Wait. What is Blue Bear thinking about? Blue Bear, if Blue Bear, if you were thinking about moving out. All right, Blue Bear is having deep thoughts. We gotta, we gotta broach it. Oh, Blue Bear just wants to give us a hat. Hooray, that's way better. Woo, was worried there for a second. Blue Bear, you, you, you'll never leave. You'll never leave, will you? I don't need it anymore and I'd just chuck it. But I'd hate for folks, especially like my fans, to think I don't, you know, recycle. So I hope my bestie, that's you, can be my recycle buddy. Of course, of course. Well, I'm gonna have to, oh my gosh, she's got a little, she's got a little lemonade. Right, we gotta revert the outfit before we can try it on. Back to the, back to the uh, yoga sweats, right. Now this hat, blue bear, what are we dealing with? Oh my God, I adore it. It's absolutely enormous. I look like I'm in mourning for my husband who I killed. I love it so much. Let's go put together a whole look for it right now. Let's check what's in the shop first. Oh, Kabuki, you're just chilling out here by the bridge. Just chilling out, cool. Okay, cool. Right, let's see if we can let's see if we can uh, pair this up with some uh, something else. I feel like we need like dark sunglasses. Wow. Okay, looks like some good stuff is in today. Callisto says, "Ha ha ha! Oh no, Luke, you've been reading too many Victorian tales." Could whoa, a flight jacket? Hello, there's a flight jacket in today, and I wasn't informed. Why? 
Oh, uh, this is like such dad vibes. It's big dad energy. This is, I, look, I look like I'm about to... I look like I'm about to offer forth some real serious opinions on the correct way to barbecue. Oh, the cafe uniform, that's cute as well. Oh, and the silk, sh the silk shirt, the silk shirt is nice, you guys. What else we got? An upcycled skirt. Oh, so it's like made from bits of old doily and towel and napkin and stuff. Ooh, oh, that's nice, loose fall dress. Ah, the Renaissance dress. Very strong, very strong, but it doesn't quite, doesn't quite go, does it? Hmm. Henry Shepard says, I now know how you feel about Blue Bear, Luke. My favourite villager, Sprinkle the Penguin, tried to leave recently and I just couldn't do it. Coincidentally, she also got fleas. I think it can happen. I think it can happen. Monocle? Okay, well, look, this is going to be a big shopping day because I need, I need, obviously, to own quite a lot of these things. Okay. Let's just order our thoughts a little bit. Um... Right, 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 right. I don't think there's anything here in terms of pairing um, with the with the hat. So I'm just going to pick up some like bits and bobs that are going to come in useful. Did I just generally just want to have by? Um, the black monocle. No, the, the it's going to have to be the gold monocle. Sure, surely, surely. Um... This feels like the most authentic pilot's cap colour. I kind of like the sort of brown leather look. What else? Oh, the cafe uniform is real cute. I'll get the flight jacket. It's a look. Uh, what colour pants do I not have? Uh, I guess I don't really have any green ones, so maybe get some of them. And shoes... Every day, more Doc Martens. I'm not complaining. They're awesome. You know what? That is that is a look that I don't hate, actually. Patrick Long says, Today is Cherry's birthday and I don't know what to gift. Okay, right. Come on. Let's go. Let's head home and see it. Just see if there's, like... Just see if I have anything that I can, um... To see if there's see if there's anything that I can uh, pair with the hat. Oh, I forgot to talk um, to the sisters. Back in, back in, back in, back in, back in we go. Hey, Sable. What do you got for me? <gasps> Ooh, exciting! All right. Got to collect those new patterns. Right, let's head home. Um, see if we can uh, see if we can pair this hat with an outfit. Excuse me, Diana. Do 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 do. Look at all this fruit unharvested. Hey, Sahara. Sahara is here. I have purchased a whole bunch of rugs and walls today. Uh, although I haven't tried them all out. Mac, fishing in my pond. Mac! No! Leon Mallow says, Luke says my favourite item has dad energy. My gay self tears up in happiness. Oh, Leon. Um, happy, happy to, happy to be helping. I'm glad you got the good vibes. Um, right. What? was I doing? Oh yeah, clothes. Clothes. Let's go to the fridge and change. Everett Campbell says, I got some amiibo cards and got my favourite Kyle in the village. He tried to leave today and I was like, bro, please, I paid actual money for you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, look, if you paid money, they can't leave. Uh, right, let's get changed. Let's see what we can do. Um, dresses. Oh, all these dresses are so colourful. <laughs> Maybe the tight outfit. <laughs> you know what? It's the closest. It's the closest we have. Hmm. 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 
I've not. I need like a. I need like a really extravagant black dress or something. I had the exact right kind of dress, but I gave it to Diana. I don't know, I think it'd probably be rude to ask for it back, right? Like this kind of shape, but obviously in black. Well, you know, I think I'm just going to have to keep a lookout. Uh, and for now, for now, I'll just, uh, I'll just go with the tight punk outfit. Why not? Shoes. Oh, maybe like, do I have, a, I don't have many, I don't have many good bags. I'm quite low on bags. Mm, no. It's hard to find good shoes for this. Oh, no, wait, no, it isn't. There they are. Cool. All right. Good. All right, that's a look. Beth Bloomer says Diana would understand it's a fashion emergency. I don't know. I'm not sure Diana would understand. Nice. I think this is a... Um... I think this is a look. I think this is a look. Ah, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Yes, in fact... Renzi M Renzi M's Gaming says, yes, sunglasses, yes. Need them, need them, need them. All right. Yes. Let's add this, uh, let's find the sunnies. Um, hmm, again, not great. Oh, no, wait, the long search is over. <laughs> yep, this is good. Scott Jacob says, Luke looks like he's about to be caught in a lie by Poirot. Yeah, that's a good look. Leo says, Luke, you can buy your dress again at Resident Services. Um, yeah, maybe I should. Although I don't I don't think it would arrive immediately, would it? Um, but I can always I can always pick it up for next time. Uh, right, let's pose it up. Oh, Velma. Where's the, um... Where's the emote that's, like, sad, but kind of, like, pretending to be sad? There we go. Just over overacting. There it is. <laughs> yep. This is it. It's got to be the kind of like fade. It's got to be the one with a fade on it. There we go. <laughs> and now all smiles. Immediately all smiles as soon as the uh, as soon as the service is over. There it is. That's cold, says Yon Fleming. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Frodo Baggins says, now it really does it like you murdered her. Look, see Diana. Look, Diana's got this great dress. Hmm. Uh, my vision, by the way, for this bit is I'm going to try and build like a grand avenue, like up from the airport here, like a big, broad, a broadway. That would be cool. Um, right, 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 right. Well, um, I think that's probably all of the island business that we have to do for now. Um, so I'm thinking, why don't we see who's online? Maybe see if we can get ourselves. Another little, uh, another little tournament going. Who have we got? Who's on the internet today? Do, do, do. Oh, not me, apparently. Come on, hurry up. Just checking I am actually online here. I must be. I've been, I've been seeing people coming online and stuff. There we go. All right. We, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've got some, uh, some, some folks are active. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, let's clear the inventory, and then uh, I'll and then I'll send out an invite. We can see who's online. Maybe they can. Uh, maybe they can head over for fishing times. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Right. Yes. Inventory cleared. Oh yeah, folks pointing out the money tree. Yeah, money tree by the tourist bathtub. I know. 
I just can't summon the enthusiasm anymore for the for the money tree. It's like it's such it's just hassle like the trees just being there after you've um got them. I'll I'll do it. I'm just just me being lazy. Um right, let's clear the uh Let's clear the inventory. Oh, I also need to check my turnip prices. Saber tooth skulls. Do 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 horse mackerel, a flea. I'm saving that koi. I'm saving that koi because I want a little statue. Um Let's go check out these floors. These floors and walls that I've got. Ah, uh, Jamdev says, ask them to bring dresses. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Red Hex and Outside Export say you can move the money trees after planting them. I know, but like, move them. That's just another thing to do. <laughs> this game is just so full of things to do and I'm tired, you know? All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Look, look, everyone in the chat is telling me off. There. Now we'll take the sapling. And we'll put it somewhere out of the way. Maybe here. Cool. Nice. Oh, Avaram Land says, your D&D series is an inspiration. Love you guys. Thank you. Um, right. Cool. Good. Uh, yeah. Stuff. Stuff. House. Oh, I've got mail. Mail? For me? <gasps> gifts from Ellen? Midstream gifts from Ellen? She wants to express a great appreciation for everything blah 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 uh don't worry those messages are pre-written by the um nook, nook terminal what could it be what could it be <gasps> i think ellen has sent us outfits rough ah oh, yes dresses dresses for the look amazing thank you ellen oh wow <laughs> wow i skate on your grave <laughs> that's what that look says to me Oh, that is, I mean, that is good. The red means it's not funereal anymore, but it's still, it's still bloody good. All right, cool. All right, this is the look. <laughs> this is the look. Ellen is the best confirmed, says Callisto. Yep, yeah, no argument, no argument. Right, let's drop some of this stuff off. Ads Valley says, I got this game after watching your streams. Look, just look, hang on, I'm just gonna parade around my living room like this for a bit. That's the TV on Baxton. Right, um, let's just have a quick look at these red brick flooring. Ooh, maybe for the kitchen? Hmm, maybe. What's this? Tatami. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice floor. Not as nice as the one I had, but it's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> Grey molded panel wall. Let's check that out. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's nice. Just really nice, neutral. It's like hotel room wallpaper. But, yeah, not, not quite not quite as rad as this. Right, let's empty the inventory a little. Um, put away my koi, because I'll end up accidentally selling it. I just know it. Oh, we haven't looked at this blue molded. Well, I mean, it's much the same. Much the same, but blue. That is nice. Nice colour. Nice colours. Yeah, I'm really into the, uh, really into the house decor at the moment. Right, let's put these things away. I'm going to assume Ellen doesn't mind me keeping hold of the uh, figure skating dress. That'll be enough. It's an empty enough inventory. For medicine. I'm not going to need medicine. Like I would get stung by bees on a live stream. Wasps even. It's never going to happen. Brock Hunter 1990 says, OMG, he's got a poster of Axel. That was my first resident. Yeah! Friend of the uh, channels, Andy Hoyle, uh, sent me this um, poster of Axel. Um, Axel's catchphrase is wonk, 
W H O N K, which I just love. Wonk. So good. So good. Um, I feel like I need tights on. I feel like the legs are too bare. Uh, Becky, yes, agrees. Uh, tights would be perfect. Yes. All right. Let's um. Let's do it. Back to the fridge. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 this shouldn't take long, probably not the embroidered, it's a bit busy. I mean, are the fishnets too much? Or are they just right? It's hard to tell. Ah, they go with the hat. Cool. Wait, you keep closing the fridge? <laughs> Says MRKWSE. You don't? That's the that's the best place for them. It keeps them keeps them nice and cool, so that when you um when you pop them on, it's real refreshing. Folks, I think we're ready. Let's fire up the best 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 friends list. Okay, here we go. Send a message. Anyone for? I haven't used this much like text shorthand since I was a teenager, like texting on a one of those like T9 predictive text things. Um. Gates open. All right, now we'll see if anyone fancies joining. Possibly no one will. Oh, look at Bed over there, chilling out, chilling out on the beach. Right. Ah, Dan of Insert Coins says, "Ahoy, hoy." Perhaps Dan would like to visit uh, via online play, please, Orville. Get me on the internet for some online play. Hope says, ew, beardo. <laughs> beardo, beardo. Uh, all my friends, Orville, all are welcome. What's the dress code, says Alex. Well, I'm tempted to just send Alex a picture of my outfit now and say like, all right, okay, I will, I will, I will enact a dress code. Um, the dress code is... Um, fancy. Oh, looks like we got a visitor. Who is it? Oh, it's Andy! From outside Xbox. The lucky birthday boy, Andy. It's not actually Andy's birthday, but it was. But it was. I think he changed his passport information in the game to say lucky birthday boy on his birthday. As well, he may have. Because, you know, it's your birthday. You can do what you want on your birthday. Harry Arden says the dress code is death. Gentleman Drill says, now that is a fishing outfit if ever I've seen one. Yeah, right. Right, 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 right. That's a good look, I think. Frodo Baggins says, been a while since we had Andy on the stream. Yeah. Right, I better, um, better whip out my phone, hook it up to the old, uh... <gasps> oh, Andy. That's unacceptably horrible. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you had to see that, folks. That is, um, that is a look. <laughs> the time is at hand, says Andy. 
Has Andy come to take me to hell? <laughs> Andy, are you here to drag me to hell? <laughs> you have to say if you are. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is... And Andy? Where, where did you go? Oh, Andy's talking to Sahara. He's got to get those mugs. Arguably worse than Tingle, says Sarah Franchella. Yeah, if you were um, watching uh, last week when we did um, show of the weekend inside Animal Crossing, which, sidebar, we're going to do again this week because it was so much fun. Um, then you, you'll know that Ellen dressed up as Tingle from the Zelda series and it was, it was, it was, it was pretty upsetting. Um, yeah, disciplinary action has been taken. Um, John in the chat says, send him back. Says Andy just cleaning up hoovering up my rugs I don't like oh no we got a second visitor uh, who is it who's it gonna be is someone arriving are they here oh here we go are we going to the cutscene? We are going to the cutscene. Alex says, fancy death it is. I'm looking forward to see what Alex shows up wearing. It's going to be good, I think. Needless to say, if you have not yet subscribed to uh, Dicebreaker, you absolutely must. Um, Michelle E says, Andy's outfit. Best outfit ever or greatest outfit ever? Um, greatest, I think. Greatest, I think, yeah. All right, Dan's coming in. What's Dan going to be wearing? Dan from uh, Insert Coin, a great um, video game and geek culture inspired uh, outfitter. I very much recommend their sweet designs. Oh, it's the it's the classic Scoops Ahoy look. Amazing. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect, Dan. You look great. Okay. Let's meet Dan at the airport. Not so far, nobody's helped themselves to my um, help yourself uh, recipes. Maybe they don't want these recipes. Permission to come aboard? Granted, Dan. Oh, we got another. We got another visitor. Who's it going to be? Bum, 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 bum. Maximus five 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 says, "Luke, can you please give a shout out to my wife Sarah? She's feeling unwell, and a hello from you would make her smile. We both love all of Oxbox, so thank you for all you do. She also loves ghost stories. Um, Sarah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry you're not feeling very well, but I hope you feel better soon. Uh, I'm sending. Uh, I'm going to take just a small portion." of the good luck, of the good fishing and bug catching luck that I always seem to get on these live streams. I'm converting it into health vibes and beaming them down the internet. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, welcome along uh, occasional person, Alex. Okay, so um, the way these fishing competitions work is we always begin by um, uh, going into my house and watching the cuckoo clock come out at 3pm because that's about to happen so I think we should do that um, uh, yeah we start the timer I've got a little timer item uh, and we use that um, uh, and we set, we set a timer and we catch as many fish as we can and the game keeps track of <gasps> oh 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 Alex my word That is, I mean, the theme was fancy death. And we got another visitor. Who's it going to be? Oh, looks like it's going to be no one. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh. Fancy death. That is such a look. 
Kelrath says, Alex is killing it, perhaps literally. Yeah, formal assassin chic, says Rebecca Frost. Yes, exactly, that's exactly it. Uh, it looks like someone, it looks like we got another another friend trying to get onto the island. Possibly not succeeding. Oh, here we go. By the way, folks, if you don't have any of those recipes already, help yourselves. I don't really know what to do with DIY recipes I've already got. You can't give them to villagers. Um, they sell for barely anything. It seems like a waste. Who have we got coming in? It's Crumpet. Crumpet is Andy Hoyle, friend of the channels. Great photographer did our photography for the charity single. There's a very slight delay um, between my voice and the gameplay, um, which means I have, always have to remind myself don't sing along to the music as I hear it because it's not quite how you hear it. <laughs> Katrina uh, Lashansky says, Dude, you're going to die if you win. Don't worry, I never win. I never win the fishing tournament. Wish us luck. <gasps> oh, now. Oh, yes. Very good. Now, that is that is some fancy funeral attire. Also gone for the little, the little dark glasses. I want to say, what would you call them? I want to say pince nez. But I don't know what, I don't know if that's a real thing. You know, like nose pinchy glasses. Cool. All right. Well, that is five of us. I think that makes, I think that makes a, uh, I think that makes a fishing gang. Fishing gang assembled. Got to go change, says Dan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Andy, you've just you've come you've come back with a very different look. <laughs> Is Andy a Shrek? <laughs> cool. All right. Oh my gosh, we got one minute until the cuckoo goes. Oh no, there it is, There's the, the music's stopping, that's the bell. Are we gonna see it, are we gonna see it? Quick, 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 loading time, no! Oh, I think we just missed the clock, darn it. Why was I distracted by Andy's Shrek costume? Why? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Edog250 says, sad Shrek at a funeral. Yeah, I think that's it, I think that's the vibe. Sad funeral, Shrek. Oh my gosh, Dan has presents. <gasps> An exercise ball, amazing. And what's this? Killed. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, wow. All right, okay, so Andy is doing Smash Mouth. Um, uh, is this Orange is the New Black? Is that what I'm seeing here? Because I love it. Uh, we've got a rumba dress, a great bat. Oh my gosh, Dan, you've bought so many gifts. <gasps> okay, oh my gosh, okay, right. Let's, we gotta try, oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Oh my word. All right, we gotta try these all on. Uh, Cosplay Nail says, Luke, you and your towel made me go out and buy a Switch in this game. Hope you're happy. I sure am. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay, right. Um... Uh, Grape dress, what's this? Oh, that's that's nice. The frog costume, of course, if I also want to be a Shrek. Oh, that's terrifying. I've not seen that before. Ah, the frog cap, full frog immersion. Ah, those are the retro shades I had them. Oh my gosh, look, I can have, f I can have a full, full looks. Andy says, didn't know there was a theme. It's fine, Andy. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know how Alex just always has absolutely world-beating costumes. All right, Andy's acting. Andy's acting out like all of Shrek. Meanwhile. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, right. I'm going, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Where did my hat go? Where's my Where's the world's best hat? 
The elegant hat. There we go. Cool. All right. I'm going to stick with... Uh, I'm going to stick with this. Oh my god. That... Wait, there's an Iron Man? There's an Iron Man outfit. That's unbelievable. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's really good, Dan. Dan, you like you nailed it. All right. Um All right, I'm going to drop some of these items just on the floor just for a minute, just so that I've got a bit more inventory space just when we go fishing. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do costume changes. Cuz oh, the grape umbrella. Maybe that would Oh, that kind of that's that kind of goes with this sort of funeral look. Meanwhile, I think Andy's taken all of his clothes off. Oh no, he's just wearing nothing but a killer mask. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no room for anything here. Okay, right. Okay. You all look so good. Ready to fish? Alright, I'm going to set a 15 minute timer. Oh, Matthew Miller says, I just caught my first seedler cans while watching. Congratulations. I'm still getting over Dan's um, Iron Man outfit. Yeah, alright, everyone's ready. Okay, cool. No bait. Have fun. Uh, right, let's get my fishing rod. Oh wait, I only have a flimsy fishing rod. <laughs> Lol, one sec. Need new rod. Alright. Back we go. Flimsy fishing rod. How did I buy a flimsy fishing rod by accident? Shy Violet says, prepared as ever. All right, Nooklings. Ah, oh, the fish fishing rod. You know that's going to be good luck. Okay. Let the fishing games begin. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, uh, it's the most fish that you can catch... In 15 minutes. And here's the other important rule. Huge fish. Are two points. Okay. Three, two, one. Where's my timer? And fish. Here we go. Woo! Alright. Presumably everyone is now scattering. Or has already scattered. Yep, yeah, wow, they didn't they didn't waste any time. Uh Silla Katinka uh Peterson says the outfits start coming and they don't stop coming. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's why oh my gosh, wow, look there's there's Andy Hoyle already already nabbed a fish. Right, hang on, I need to need to get on my game here a little. Fish Fishes Where are you? Oh my gosh, thirty seconds in, I haven't even seen a fish. This this is bad. Ah, oh, there's a fish, but... Andy Hoyle again? He's everywhere you want to be. Oh, I've still got my flimsy rod. Never mind. Time time to do, time to address that later. Alright, we're off to a pretty weak start here. Yeah, good, yeah. Good luck with it, Andy. Don't think, don't... Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> and is Andy just blocking me in? <laughs> He's just hassling me. Andy, hassling me doesn't get you any fish, you know. He's just going to follow me looking terrifying. I'm sure that's his plan. Right. I'm thinking no one else is going to be fishing the river streams. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got a, we got a curious fish. Oh, 
Eyes closed for focus. Hey, we got a pale chub. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, can you see anything up there, folks? I don't think I can. Anything? No. Oh, I've only got two fish. This is terrible. Ah! Uh, come on. Got to get on top of this. Not got good feelings about round one, folks. Fishes. Anything? Any? Anything? Any fish? There. Aha. Aha. Oh, come on. Turn around. Turn around. Okay, fine. Be, be like that. Be like that. Oh, come. There we go. All right. <gasps> a frog! Amazing! Or it's a new neighbor and I have some apologizing to do. Solid comedy copy. Love it. Okay, I'm not seeing many fish, and I... Well, ah, ha, 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 we got a large customer. This could be a C-plus situation, folks. What do we got? Yay! C-plus. Alright, that got me some nook miles. There's no time to redeem them. Message in a bottle. There is time to grab that. Uh. Come on, where are the... Oh! Man, Andy Hoyle. Okay, here we go. Whom. Come on, you're only little. But you still count. You still count as a good catch. Come on. What? No, come on. Who... 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 Who, who wouldn't want to be caught by me? There we go. Accurate throws count for a lot. Here. Oh, we've got a, a seahorse. That's nice. This point, uh, there should, maybe there should be bonus points for adorableness. Maybe each round we should have a particular fish that is worth double points. That would be pretty fun. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice try, Alex. This particular sea bass is mine. Ooh, C plus. It's a C plus. I can already feel it. There we go. C plus. It's called a C bass. No wait. It's at least a C plus. Uh, fishing rod. Out of the way, Daisy. Kind of want to run to go faster, but I also am wary of like running too close to the shore and like potentially scaring away a fish. Fish is. Oh my word, the oceans are dry. Here we go. Good throw, good throw. Where is everybody? Hey, nice. Butterfly fish, cute. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Alright, now. We've had, a, we've had a little bit, a little better luck. The last couple of minutes, maybe. But I'm not sure it'll be enough. A red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. Okay, okay. Right, maybe should I just stick to the oceans? Is it worth running running along the rivers? I feel like it is. Out of the way, Bedo! Oh ho ho! C plus for Dan! C plus for Dan, C plus for days! Oh. Molly's got a fish there. You know, who doesn't have a fish? Me! Oh man, look, there's Andy's got a fish! Aha! Aha! Here is a little fish. Oh, no! No, Andy! No! Oh my gosh, I can't believe- Andy, you are the first person in the fishing tournament. Yes. See? There. Yeah, yeah, nice try, Andy. It's mine. It's my pale chub. 
He's just trying to scare it away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable tactics from Mr. Farrant. Absolutely shame. Look, Andy, you could have had this fish if you'd moved a little, if you'd have been less preoccupied with trying to sabotage me. <laughs> yeah, look. Pop that in, pop that in your mask eye hole. <laughs> right. No, no, do not follow. Do not follow. I can't sabotage. Right, here we go. Ah. Aha. As long as I can catch every fish before Andy catches up with me, I should be fine. And this shouldn't be too massive a hindrance. <laughs> And I think Andy's good luck. I think I'm get. I think I'm get catching more fish than ever with his um, assistance. Right. Yes. Nice try, Andy. Oh! <laughs> Don't try to stab. The fish went through Andy's head. <laughs> Can't believe what I'm seeing here. Andy surely sabotaging his own chances. Oh, come on. Come on. No, 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 no! <gasps> it doesn't want... It doesn't want either. It doesn't want... It doesn't... It doesn't want your lure, Andy. No, 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 no! No. Come on. Come to the one you love the most. Oh, no! It's gone to Andy's! Oh! Right, maybe I could at least use this opportunity to get slightly ahead of him. So that he can give up this grim chase. No, no, Andy. Oh, there's Dan. All right, Dan running up him. It surely means that the that, this, that the waters have been fished dry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, just need to not get found by Andy. Okay. All right, bluegill. Oh. Andy Farron, what are you pl what are you playing at? Oh, there's Dan. All right, Dan's fishing around here, so I better oh, I kind of hope my I kind of hope my garden pond would have a some some fish in it. But no. Right, 5 minutes left. A little more, closer to 6 minutes. Is that is that too far? Is that fish going to get there? Come on, buddy. There we go. Alright. We're on 14. 14. You know what I've not seen so far? I've not seen anyone deliberately sprint by a fish to scare someone else's fish away. Which is a tactic. I don't know how we would feel about it. Maybe you think all is fair. In love and war and Animal Crossing fishing tournaments, which are war and love. All right, come on. You're at a slightly awkward angle there, fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You think Alex Lolly? Do you think Alex is struggling like this? No. You think Andy Hoyle is faffing around with a tiny fish in a stream for ages and ages? No. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now I just have to catch it. All right, it's a rainbow fish. Nice, nice. But where are the big fishes? Where are the big? I need, I need to, need to catch, need an oarfish. fish. Something that's going to get me like several points at once. Fish is absolutely humiliating me. Oh my god. Come on. <gasps> Fish. There we go. Now just don't wriggle off the hook. What do we got? Another pale chub. Okay. Okay. Where are all your fish at, says Dan. Good question. In tanks? <laughs> Horse mackerel. Got it. Oh, 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 no. No, this is the... No! No, Andy's found me again. 
Darn it! Darn it! Alright, run. Just run. Run. Try and lose him in the long grass. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, nice try, Andy. That was a flawless throw. Oh my god, he scared it away! Andy! I had my eyes closed as well, so I didn't realise it was gone! I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable gamesmanship. Right. Incredible scenes. Oh. This could be a C plus. It could be bigger. Ah, C plus. Darn it. Darn it. Can't believe it. Two, two and a half minutes left to make some magic. C plus. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, swim up a little closer, fish. There we go. There we go. Just have to stay calm. Not think. Oh no, he's found me again. God, he's <laughs> and uh, I, and, okay, I think I've lost him. I think I've lost him, which is good because look, there's a river fish up here. Okay. <gasps> Alright, I've hit we've hit twenty. We've hit twenty fish. Is there time? Is there time to bag a few more? Based on the scores from last time we did this, I think I'm gonna have to be closer to 24, 25 to be in with a chance of winning. Come on. No, that's that's not that's not a prize winning throw, is it? That's not how you win the big fish competition. Which, by the way, is absolutely what we should call this. The Big Fish Competition. Oh, nice. Another bluegill. Ah, a tiny fish up there. Oh, no, I scared it off. Curse my... Curse my stomping around. Okay, ocean fish. I know you're here somewhere. No, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Do we have time to make some magic? Come on. 10 seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Someone's abandoned their socks. Oh! <gasps> Oh, whoa, there we go. Okay, well, it looks like Andy Hoyle is the winner with 25. 25, that was close. That was close. Let's check those scores again. Look at that. I got 21. Alex got 21. Dan got 22. Andy got 18, which is about what he deserves with all of his interfering. And an incredible... Here, here is your winner. Andy says ran out of inventory space. Sure. 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 <laughs> okay, right. Well, let's clear out our inventories. Meet meet at Velma's grave and, um, and we'll commence round two. I think round two should be bugs. Did anyone catch any big fish? I don't think anyone did. Brock Sisson says it's actually impressive that he got eight, um, 18 while messing with you that much. No big fish. Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> it's the Shit's Creek. Ew, David. Look. I'm a little, I've got a like slight Moira vibes, I reckon. I don't know if there are any uh, Shit's Creek fans in the um, in the chat. Okay, here we go. Head on up to Velma's grave. Good fishings to you. The crows have eyes. Amazing. Right. Do I have a fancier net? Oh, yeah, I've got a star net. Amazing. Cool. All right. Oh, someone's leaving. Who's on the way out? Oh, it's Andy. He's he's done all of his chaos. He's done all of his chaos and now he is and now he is gone. Off over the horizon. Right, okay, well I guess that just leaves um I guess that just leaves the four of us. Right. Uh oh what did Dan just say? Dan just I missed it. Shrekt. <laughs> Get Shrekt. <laughs> the trickster god takes his leave, says no one's cup of tea seven three eight. Okay. All right. When da uh, here is okay. Here's Dan. Andy wanted to be the only bug. <laughs> okay. Everyone looks fab. Let's get those bugs. Okay, we've not done a bug hunting competition before. Um, let's set another 15 minute timer, I guess. Ready and... And they're off! Okay, right, well, now. Ah, there's a, well, there's a butterfly. Nice, good. Woo! Right, good, that's one bug. Now running is a bit riskier here. Someone left some shoes. Well, there's some rain boots here. Running is a bit riskier here because... Oh, everyone's crew everyone's hanging around the flower patch. But there's no bugs to be seen. Running's a bit risky here because it's so easy to scare bugs away. So far, I have only got one bug. Where are you bugs? I see a fish. Which ordinarily I would be chuffed about. Bugs. Incidentally, uh, as things stand, ah, there, I see, I see a ladybird. There it is. Right, nice and quiet, nice and precise. Bam. Cool. All right. And a bee. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Good luck, Andy. I've had all the bees and bugs up here. Okay. Oh, look. There's the uh, vapor trails that show that We've had visitors. Okay, now, like, often you get those kind of crickety crickets um, on the sort of, like, big, expansive patches of ground. Ah, a butterfly! A butterfly. Awesome. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, and another one. Come on. Nope, I said... No. Okay, right. Fourth time's a charm. Fifth time's a charm. First try. Don't forget about Hermit Crab, says Ant Zong. Oh, Zonk. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's a great shout. Um... Yeah, we mustn't ignore all of the beach bugs. Also, like those, um, those like creepy crawlies that hang around on the rocks. Maybe we can find some of them. Darn, none, none to be seen. Butterflies are a really good bet because they don't flee uh, if you, um, hurt flee if you, like, run up too close to them. They're pretty unflappable, you might say. <gasps> it's lollies. Lollies in the amphitheatre. Okay. Oh, all right. We're um, keeping pace with a lot. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head down here. Where are all the bugs? Okay, maybe now the bug garden is going to be oh, full of full of insects, or not, or not, or it could be a complete bug wasteland. That's also an option. Oh, hermit crabs, hermit crabs, any hermit crabs? No. Okay. Hmm. Harder to catch than fish. Need more uh, butterflies. That's the they're the real money melon. Bugs! I don't want to catch you. I just want to talk. Oh, just got birdwing butterfly. Nice. Oh yeah, we um. Oh yeah. Okay, maybe the maybe the. Oh oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know enough about the rarity of bugs. Come on. Is that a stink bug? I think it's a stink bug. Yes. I don't know enough about the rarity of bugs to, to know, like, which ones are the ones that should be worth, like, double points. If anyone in the chat can... If, if you can come to a consensus. Are you a hermit crab? No. Oh, here comes Dan. Right, time to cut in land. Where are you, bugs? Check the flowers up here again. Nothing. Nada. I could try sh shaking some trees. I might get some uh, wasps. I don't want money. I want wasps. For once. I, didn't I say I wasn't going to get stung on this stream? Come on, shake, shake the tree. What rotten luck to only be getting money from trees. <gasps> and a magic kit. I don't want a magic kit, I want wasps. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, somewhere around here, there's a bug in the ground can hear it. Yes, there it is. There it is. Come on. Come on. Yes. Bam. Mole cricket. Cool. Woo. I think I hear another one. I think it's up there. Could mole crickets be my... Uh... Oh, and it's, it's really hard to hear. Oh, this takes a lot of digging. Oh, I think it might be... I think it might be down a level. Okay, I'm invested now. Oh, there's, a there's a butterfly over there. I have to, I have to detour to get the butterfly if I can. I got her, surely. I'll come back for you, Mole Cricket. How am I going to get down there? That's not gettable, surely. 
No! Wait, hang on. Can I, can I, can I, can I hop down on the ladder? I can! Yes! Okay, right. The most inaccessible butterfly ever is mine. No! That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I gotta back up. Come on. Right, let's get back up. Gotta find that mole cricket. Right, it's somewhere around here. I'm real close. <gasps> yes, there you are. There you are, my mole cricket friend. And that makes nine. I have no idea if I'm doing well or badly. Oh, I hate leaving holes, but I gotta. We don't have time to be filling them in. Okay, 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 okay. Bugs, 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 bugs. Oh, someone else someone else has been shaking trees. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder who it was. Wonder who it was. Oh. The fact that you have to kinda of like walk around deli real delicately definitely sort of adds a free sort of drama. To, ah, ha, 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 ha. Get back here. No, get back. Dragonfly, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Don't go any, don't go anywhere. Oh, there we go. Cool. Nice. Ah, there's another one. Another one. Ah, I've got to go. Maybe I can catch up with it if I'm real quick. Come on. Come on, dragonfly. I don't have my net equipped. Stay still, stay still, stay still. Ah, yes. Okay. Bugs. Bugs. Hello. Hello, bugs. <laughs> Terrifying time to be a bug on this island right now. Just all having a nice chill time and then just all of a sudden, bam, everyone is out for you, no matter what kind of bug you are. Ah, oh, someone's been shaking my trees looking for wasps. Won't find wasps in the fruit trees. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, was that a butterfly I just saw out of the corner of my eye? No, it was a reflection on the water. My, my mind's playing tricks with me. Five minutes left. Any bugs up here in the diner? No? Well then, where are ya? This is a much more uh, appropriate bug hunting costume, I think. While we're on the subject. Okay. Ah! Yes! 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 No! 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 Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Yes! Whew! A long locust! Ah, oh, and what's this butterfly right here? It's not super rare, but paper kite butterfly. Nice, good to have. Good to have. Oh, someone's. Ah, oh, this must have fallen out. Oh, a silver mic. This must have fallen out of a tree when someone was looking for wasps, and they were kind and courteous enough uh, to let me pick it up. Thank you. Oh, yes, you are a fancy butterfly. No, no, no. <laughs> Peacock butterfly, they are quite expensive. They are worth quite a lot. It took me a little while to find one of them. Um, but I don't think it's going to be worth two points. I have no idea. I, I feel like I'm either way ahead or way behind. Place your bets now. There we go. Rocks, Luke, rocks. Oh, of course. Caitlin RC, yes. I could be. Ah, ah, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, oh no, it's mine, Andy. Oh, no, you don't. Where did it go? Oh, these ones are so hard to catch. Darn, 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 darn. 
These these like black and white stripey ones are so much faster. Ah, uh, come on! No, no, I didn't get my net out. Oh! Come on, just stay on the screen for a second. Where have you gone? Huh. No! Don't go over the water. Don't go over the water. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, well, I, I just got a yes. Did I not have that one already? I was sure I had that kind of butterfly. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, uh, awesome in that case. Wow, that was hard. Um, oh, that was intense. That was intense. Okay. Two minutes left. Come on, where are the, where are the, where are the stink bugs? Where are those little black and white creepy looking ones that I see so often? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Okay, right, need to move carefully now. Oh, because I want that diving beetle. Yes, bam. Eloise's jacket is adorable, says Emily Price. Thank you. Um, it was a gift from me. Ah, and a butterfly here. Nice, 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 nice. Cleaning up, cleaning up. Oh, fossil. Ah, all right. Mental note, fossil there. <gasps> a mantis. Okay, I've got to approach stealthily here. <laughs> oh, Andy's mad. <laughs> Andy's mad because I got that mantis, I think. As well, he might be. Okay. Right. 25 seconds left. Can we make some magic? Can we... Can we get lucky? <gasps> There's a butterfly. There's a butterfly. Lolly's wants it. Oh, she's got it. Oh. Come on, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds. Give me a butterfly. I can still get it. Oh, whoa, Dan, 28, 28 bugs. Are you for real? Let's have another, Dan, Dan, what the hell? Wow. Oh my gosh. 28. Dan, you absolute monster. 20, 28 bugs. 28 bugs? Well, that was really impressive. Okay, Dan. Um, we need to find. We need to find you a prize. Thought I thought I was doing bad. <laughs> Dan, how how could you think you were doing badly? You must have been catching a bug like every twenty seconds. <laughs> wow, that's that's incredible, Dan. You. Absolutely, you are, you are like, you are like an at, at, absolute, like, you are, you are the, you are the boogeyman for bugs. Right, um, uh, right, I've got to go find a prize for Dan. The buggy man. Yes, Dan the buggy man. What? I just dug up 99,000 bells? Uh, uh, um, have, 
Have we seen that before? Have, uh, what? Okay, I've never, okay, I, well, I've never had that happen. Okay. All right, all right, okay, and Andy wants to know what his fishing prize was. Okay, so, right, everyone's gonna have to have prizes. 99,000? Someone planted it, the chat is saying. Someone planted it? Okay, I think Dan's present should be this hoover because he really hoovered up those bugs. <laughs> oh, I think Alex buried it. Wait a minute, we should do a treasure hunt. <gasps> That's what round three should be. That would be cool, right? We could bury some money and we could all, like, try and find it. Okay. Right, let's clear out some of these bugs. I've got to make sure not to accidentally sell the banded dragonfly. Grand piano. What's Andy? I can't see what. I can't see that whole message. Tell you what, we're going to be cleaning up on bugs here. Uh, Jerk four 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 says everyone hide in resident services while you bury a bunch of junk and only one money. I love this idea. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. And Gentleman Drill says, treasure hunt with Latin words and a well. I get that reference, Gentleman Drill. Uh, and welcome new member Elaborate Sky. Hello. Okay, right. So. Okay. Let's all meet up back. Let's, let's meet up at Velma's grave. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, everyone has such impressive looks. Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone who is on my island right now will also have the live stream open so that they'll be able to, like, hear me describe the premise of this. So I won't spend ages and ages typing it out. But we'll do a treasure hunt. Um, if Dan, Andy and Alex, you don't mind hiding in resident services and not looking at the stream for five minutes... Uh, I am going to bury some cash and a whole bunch of trash around the island and um, the first one to find the first one to find the treasure is the winner. Oh, and yeah, Kate O'Sullivan has an extra rule. If you dig a hole, you have to fill it back in too. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, so now I've got to go get some... Now I've got to go get some trash out of my... Uh, I think I have some, like, garbage items put by. Let's see what we got. Cash and trash, says Corbin. Uh, Bogut. Yep, yeah, that's what we're calling it. It's cash and trash. Right, uh, so let's see what I've got in the way of total garbage in the old inventory. Oh yeah, here we go, look. Nine wasps nest. All right, wasps, wasps nests. All right, we're going to be burying a lot of wasps nests, folks. I tell you what. No, no, let's just have one prize. So let's keep things simple. Okay, yeah, and then a... And then a, um... Oh, any eggs left, says Tarnim. That's a great idea. Let me see if I've got... Let me see if I've got any eggs. Yes, I do. All right, let's bury, let's bury some eggs. <laughs> yes. Let's bury some eggs because... Because everyone hates those eggs so darn much. 
Okay. Right. Cool. All right. Now I now I need to go. Um, now I need to get. Now I need to get burying. Okay. Where should I bury beardos? <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let's start. Uh, now let's start concealing things, shall we? Why don't we have one in just here, just between these palm trees, and maybe that could be an egg. Yeah. Now here's the thing. I want to see it when somebody wins the grand prize. So how do we do that? Very DIY recipes, so then someone has to take them. That is an inspired idea. All right, I'm thinking maybe. Hmm. Where should where should we bury the actual money? Maybe that should be it. Should be it should be really well hidden. I feel like it's too obvious out here on an, on like an extremity. Okay, alright, here we go. I have an idea. There's one place on the island where I'm, like, completely hidden. <laughs> Alex says Nook just scratched his tum. It's a good update. Oh, the amphitheatre behind the piano. Oh, it's got this flooring down there. I don't think it... Oh, just ran over Rose. Never mind. All right, let's see how delicately people can uh, dig around my my precious roses, shall we? Sure, I won't regret this. Let's maybe put a couple of uh, a couple of things up here. Just just wall to wall wasps nests. Oh wait, did I just wait, did I just bury all those wasps nests? Oh well, someone can get nine wasps nests, I guess. That's fine. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If I actually go behind the museum, um, I am completely hidden and impossible to see. So maybe as long as maybe I could put the actual money in sight of that. And then that might and that way I will be able to see. Also buried the stacks of eggs. Oh no, I buried too many eggs. Okay, right, now we gotta put some how about one just here? Let's put one back here where I found the money. Let's bury that boot. something out here maybe like um, yeah maybe just here that's probably like the sort of most concealed spot nice um, oh hang on I better just say does Luke come get us good it shows Andy's playing by the rules so if I hide behind the museum 
Where can I see from here? So that we would know if someone's getting close to the treasure. Here seems like the a good spot. Will that be too will that be too quickly found though? No, anyone anyone who runs anyone who just runs past to find that. Hmm. <laughs> I could bury it just right behind resident services, like where they're just gonna pop out. Nah, no, too easy, too easy. Outside Xbox in the chat says, Luke, stop talking. No, it's okay that I'm talking. I, I did I did say that they all needed to look away from and uh, and, and mute the stream. So, or at least I think I said mute it. I, I assume that they would take that as red. Right. Because I need to talk to, I need to talk to the viewers about where, uh, oh, bury it in Velma's grave, behind the grave. Okay, right. That is good. Yeah, that is good. That is good, right. Oh, oh no, but I've got company over, so I can't pick this stuff up. Maybe, can I just... Am I able to just move this? Just, I just want to drag it down slightly. Come on. Ah! That's such a good idea, and I could do it if only I could just, like, pull the grave out one space. Darn, can't do it, can't do it. Oh, but behind the tree. Hmm... I mean, that is devious because it's very, that's going to be really difficult to see. Is that unfairly difficult? I think that might, I think that might be unfair. Like, I can't see it at all. Like, I don't, I, I, it can't be unseeable. Behind the vacant house, that's a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you could easily spot that. Maybe maybe behind Diana's house or just next to Diana's house. Maybe just here. You know what? This looks pretty good. You would only see this if you were like running up here, I think. So you would have to In the flower field. Oh, in the flower field is a good shout. How hard, how easy would that be to spot? Let's find out. What if I bury something here? Let's start just by burying a flower. I think that's, um, I think it's a bit, I think it's a little too easy. But maybe not. Maybe not. Behind the water pump next to the vacant house. Yeah, that's good. Can I can I get in there? Yes, alright. Here's where the treasure's going. No, no, not put not put away. Right, yeah, but now come on. Now I need to bury it. Come on. It won't let me bury it. Why wouldn't you let me? Why wouldn't you let me bury the money? I think it's because I like don't quite have like an angle on getting in there. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, it's been a, the game's been a real jerk about this, folks. Hmm. I, well, I can't even fill in that hole now. That is annoying. Well, look, I could pop it just like here, maybe, or... But now, if, now it seems really conspicuous because of the... Um... You know what? I think that's a fine hiding place. Let's Let's bury that there. Go from around the back of the house, Megan Slater says. No, don't fit. Sadly, don't fit. Hang on, maybe maybe I can at least... Wait, I should be able to drag this, right? 
Oh, what? You can't even transfer around when you've got company around. Come on. Can I kick in? Can I kick the dirt over it? Behind a bamboo tree, you can see through them if you look carefully. Yeah, that's a good shout. But I feel like you can see this bit from a lot of places. Fill the holes, dude. I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. I feel like there might be a perfect angle on this. All right, let's move the treasure because I think I think this is too I think this is too conspicuous. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Bury it on the roof. Press Y to fill the hole. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't having it, Andrew. Andrew Kaufman, great suggestion. Up here is quite a good idea because. You could, you could easily miss that, and that way I could just like, and that way I could hide behind a tree. Nah, but, yeah, but then where am I going to hide? How will I see the winner claim the spoils? I suppose I could be like down here and I would see, I would see when a person was coming, going, going near. Yeah, I could stand on here maybe. You know what? It's going. It's going here. We're overthinking it at this point. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. That's good. That's good. That is nice. Everyone saying bamboo. That was a good suggestion. Right. Let's just have bury some. Uh... Do I have any garbage left? Um. Tell you what. Oh, I won't let me bury the clown. That's annoying. I'll just fill it in. Okay, right. I'm gonna go get the. Uh, I'm gonna go get the get the competitors, and we'll uh, and we will treasure hunt. And I will stand. Uh, I will stand on top of this, up here, and I should be able to see from up there. And um, but it will also be kind of ambiguous why I'm up there. I think. Cool. All right. I'll go get him. Okay. Go! Oh, I'm running slightly. I'm the stream's running slightly over, and Jane is starting streaming soon. Uh, all right. Well, well. Hopefully, they solve this treasure hunt quite quickly. All right. Why don't we follow Lolly? See what she's. Uh, see where she's headed. Oh, found something. It's a boot. Sorry about it. I'm gonna go up here. From here, I can see the actual treasure. Just about. Oh my gosh! I think Dan's found it already! Whoa! Oh, okay, wow. Dan! Okay, well, there we go. We didn't worry. We didn't. Dan has already won. <laughs> and my island is just full of buried wasps now. Wow, Dan. Okay, that was that was absolutely exceptional. All right, meet me back at uh, Velma's grave, everyone, for a quick goodbye. Uh, and then um, Jane's stream will be kicking off very shortly. I can't believe how many wasps I buried. Uh, right, we've got we've got gifts. Um, uh, Dan, your prize is this vacuum cleaner because you hoovered up all the fish. And Andy, who got two wasps and a boot, your prize for winning the fishing competition is 
this stool because you've stolen all the fish on my island. And those are the prizes I have to give. All right, folks, um, head on over to... Um, uh, head on over to j check out Jane's stream. Uh, there should be a link in the chat. Uh, yep, I can see it. Yep, there it is. Thank you uh, so much, Dan and Andy and Alex, for joining. That was great. Um, head on over to Jane's stream. And it's, and and uh, what's a message? What's a message to go with? Head on over there and say twenty-eight bugs with a lot of question marks. 28 bugs. I can't believe when Dan caught 28 bugs. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Um, see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>